Up, Corey Frumpkin yes. apparently is first in line, and he's going to be the first one. <laughs> he's winning right now. He's winning the race, Corey. <laughs> Taking home the ribbon. <laughs> <laughs> Lee, I cannot believe you've never run the Beach to Beacon. I've done it the last two years, and it is so much fun. We are out here this morning uh, at Cape Elizabeth, the Portland Headlight, with some very special guests this morning. And today at 7 a.m., so just a few minutes away, registration starts for the TD Beach to Beacon. So exciting, we're all looking forward to summer. We have Angela, Joan Benoit Samuelson, whom we all know, and here is Maya, a volunteer coordinator with the event. So Maya, I'm gonna get started with you real yeah. quick. There is a change this year. So if people are looking to register this morning, what can they expect? So this morning, the change would be that you have to have a race roster account uh, when you start your registration process. Um, makes things go a little bit faster when you initiate your registration, but that's the only change just to make things faster. And how has volunteering been over the last uh, several years that you've been involved with this? Oh, it's been phenomenal. Uh, we have over 800 volunteers for the race, and uh, we've had a great turnout for volunteers. And I hope that this year people will consider volunteering. Um, registration for that starts on April 1st. Angela, real quick, uh, your experience here, VP of the event, uh, how has that been over the course of this event? It's just such, it's so much fun. Oh, it is. Um, it, over the years, the growing of all the different runners and all the different volunteers and the excitement on, at the start, along the course, and with Shore Road in implementing the path, we've had an uptick in spectators. So the event, get the runners get so much um, support from the spectators and running that last mile is usually uphill. <laughs> so it's getting into that Ford and all the cheering. It really gets exciting. So we the event has just just grown and gotten better every year. And Joan, what are you looking forward to the most at this year's event in August? Well, I love being at the start to see the energy collect um, out by Crescent Beach on Route 77, and then I try to beat the runners to the finish line. <laughs> I won't say exactly how, but, um, um, and then just cheering the elite athletes across the line, and I love to wait until the last runners trickle across because they really tell the true, true story of the TD Beach to Beacon 10K, and it's transcended our sport in this community and around the world with all the partnerships we have with the volunteers, the host families, the sponsors. I mean, it takes a community to really build something of this magnitude. Absolutely. Uh, great, great words there that were, that were just spoken. Um, I'm looking forward to it this year. Um, hopefully I can sign up. Um, we have our new Center Main team out there, obviously, this year. Um, they're expecting it to pretty much the tickets to fly here within 15 minutes. So get ready by your computers or your whatever, your digital devices, and get ready to register. Very exciting this morning real um, quick one thing i would i would encourage everyone if you don't get in this morning there is the lottery that you can immediately go into and those will be chosen next week so okay. there's there's still another chance okay. okay really great thank you guys so much for joining us this morning Thanks it's cold and we're staying warmed up by the live truck so we'll send it back to you guys now in the warm studio